Hello guys, welcome back to attend the new session for CMA Inter. In this session, we are going to discuss on the revision study plan for the upcoming attempt on June 2024. So, as you all know, your exams is going to be start from July 11. For inter as well as for final, it is going to be there. So, you are left with almost 71 days. On the date of his recording, this March 31st. It is April 30, May 31st, June 10. So, total 71 days is there for your preparation. Still 71 days is there. Now, on those 71 days, we have bifurcated into two types. One is productive, one is unproductive. It means productive days and unproductive days. Because we may not say that we will continuously study for 71 days and all. We need to take some breaks. We have some festival. In between, we need to focus on some area on that. Not on fully, it needs to be focused. So for that matter, we have take 60 days in solid. We have take 60 full days in solid for your preparation. And we have left 11 days as an unproductive days or on hot or a breaks you are going to take it in between breaks which you are going to take it now is it possible in 60 days to clear your cma inter exam yes it is still possible if you do and if you make a proper revision plan okay yes we have a proper strategy to make you clear for the upcoming CMA inter with 60 plus marks in at least two papers and in total you may score 230 marks. You may score 230 marks. Is it possible? I always tell my students to score minimum 60 plus marks in two papers. Remaining if you score 40 plus marks in any two papers, your total will become 200. Suppose if you score 60 plus marks and 50 plus marks, your total will become 230 to 220. So it is easily possible. So, as you know, for group 1 and group 2, you are having 4-4 four, four papers each. You need to write 400 papers, 100 marks of each. Paper 5, Paper 6, Paper 7 and Paper 8. Here after it is only going to be new syllabus. Now old syllabus is there. So Paper 5 is your law. Paper 6 is your financial accounting. Paper 7 is your DT and IDT. Paper 8 is your cost accounting as you all know. Then on Group 2, first paper is your OM and SM. Second paper is your CAA, Corporate Accounting and Auditing. Paper number 11 is FMTA. Paper number 12 is CMA, Management Accounting. Previously, in goal syllabus, paper 11 and 12 has combined into only one cost and management accounting. Now it is changed. So, now, our focus. Sir, in the 60 days, shall I focus on both groups? The answer is yes. When it is yes, it means you have already finished your group 2. Or almost you have completed 90% of the syllabus in group 2. Now you just need a revision. Already you have appeared for group 1, some exemption is there, you are not yet clear. Then you will focus on both groups. Or the first time I am going to appear in an exam, it means you will focus on only one group in this 60 days. Or else you have already prepared for all the papers, all the 8 papers, then go for a both groups. Because the last day to file an exam application form is April 10. Okay, still you have a time to decide. So, what we are going to do, what is our targeting paper, the two papers in respective of each group. Our targeting paper is paper number financial accounting. That's a mandatory paper you are targeting for an exemption. Then, here, paper number 9, OMSM is an another paper which you are targeting for your exemption. Okay, these are the two mandatory papers if you are writing both groups. If you are writing a single group, paper number six, financial accounting is your targeting paper. And business law and CA, in these two papers, it depends from person to person. So, suppose if you are more uh, uh, interested about uh, cost accounting, you may store an exemption in a cost accounting. It's still possible. And then business law and ethics also, you can still store an exemption. 
Okay, out of these two, you can choose one. Okay, paper five or paper eight, you can choose one and you can score an exemption in that paper. Okay, in group two, the another area is CAA and MA. I will tell you to go with CAA. Okay, you could not predict the MA paper, that is management accounting paper. Even though the chapter is uh, the content which they have given in management accounting as compared to the old syllabus, previously they are only standard casting, marginal casting, budgetary control, transfer pricing. Now it is still something more. Your point analysis, different, different concepts are there, performance management, everything will be there. So you need to focus on more. So target on these two papers to score an exemption. Okay, target on these two papers to score an exemption. Okay, so this is the area. Or ah, suppose if you are well good at management accounting, you can score still score an exemption. If you are scoring 60 plus in three papers, in that attempt, you are going to pass. You are going to pass. Mark my words. The June attempt is yours. Next. Come to an overall preparation strategy on 60 days I am having. On that 60 days, if I am studying for both groups, I need to bifurcate into 30 plus 30. Equally, you should give it. Okay, or you have advantage of exemption in any paper, you will slightly change it. Okay, on this 30 days, you need to set aside four days to seven days, four to seven days for your revision. It means available time for both papers is 24 plus 24, 48 hours. Is 48 days is there. Okay. On this 48 days, you can still achieve and you can test the success. So, now come to a question that how many hours to study? Actual fact, it depends from person to person. On an average, if you are focusing on group 1, you need to focus 4 to 6 hours. Minimum four hours, maximum six hours. That is more than sufficient to you to prepare. Okay. Now, on this four hours, I will give you a time plan also. If you are yearly yearly person to wake up, you can study from six a.m. to eight. Take a break, then study from eleven to one. Then take a small lunch break and come back and study from 2 to 5. If you calculate here 2 hours, here it is 2 hours, here it is 3 hours. Almost you are studying for 7 hours. Just. Then it should be a productive hours. Whatever I say, 4 hours, 6 hours, and all, it should be a productive hours. Without breaks. Okay, without breaks, it should be minimum 4 hours to maximum 6 hours. If you do that, if you give a discipline and if you are following a consistency on that, you will surely taste the success. Next, shall I prepare specifically for MCQ, sir? The answer is no. The answer is no. You have heard it right. The answer is no. Because if you study the concepts logically, why it is there, why we are adding, why we are separating everything you understand logically, still you could not even focus on MCQ. Even still, you will focus. You will score good marks in MCQ. Okay. For the to tackle this, we are come up with the MCQ test series, which we will start from April end. Okay, which we will start from April end. This is an MCQ series. It is a Pan India Pan India test series. You can attend it at free of cost. It is completely going to be free of cost. You can attend. At the time, we will give an announcement for that. Now, come to what study material needs to focus. First thing, you can focus on your notes. Your notes are the best way to learn. You know why you have written and what you have written, you know. So it is the best way is your self-preparation notes, what you have prepared. 
or what you have understand from the faculty that you have taken the notes, that is sufficient, first thing. Next, focus on study mat. If you want to focus on ICMA study mat, if you want to focus, you can focus or you can focus on similar chapters in the CA study mat. Okay, similar chapters on the CA study mat, you can focus. Okay, both the ways you can do. Then let's say for financial accounting, not for profit organization, single entry system, accounts from income public records, dissolution of partnership, partnership, admission, death, retirement, CA interval syllabus, higher purchase, insurance claim, everything is still focused. Okay, now next. So, which question they have released? They have released a workbook. Shall I want to focus on that? As we have already discussed, focusing on MCQ is not a big deal if you learn the concepts logically. So, this time we are not going to see bit questions because the, the level of testing in the examination is completely changed. If you ask me before three attempts and all, I will tell you just focus on the bit question. If, if I want to focus on now, if I want to pursue my CMA course right now, by looking at the bit question is not even worth it. Because that is prepared under 2015, 16 and all they have prepared and they have listed. Still, if you, if you find one line that MCQ on that, but in your examination, you will find a uh, case-based question, like three to four lines, they have given a scenario. From that scenario, you need to answer it. For that matter, you need to understand the concepts really well. Then only you just simply mark up option A. Why it is option A? Then you need to analyze it. By simply looking at option A, this is option B. Mark up being up of MCQs, won't be there hereafter. Okay. Next. There is something known as workbook. Workbook I need to focus. It is optional. Focusing on workbook is optional. If you want to focus the workbook, you can still focus, but it based on the availability of the time. If you are prepared for six months and all, you can focus on the workbook. As of now, the last 60 days, it is up to you to focus on the workbook. Now, for this most mandatory thing, which I want to tell you specifically, you are going to do your question papers from syllabus 2012, syllabus 2016, syllabus 2022. Are you able to understand? On this, okay? You are going to do a question paper. Where I get the question paper along with the suggested answer in the ICMAI portal, it is there. You can download it. Okay. The last option will be given to syllabus 2012. So last option? No. If I say last option, the first thing you are going to focus here is syllabus 2012 to 16 you may get eight question papers. Eight to 10 papers will be there. Eight to 10 papers will be there. You know one thing, in syllabus 2012 and all, financial accounting, no, they have asked three, three marks, four, four marks, small, small based, concept based question. If you take costing, they have taken a reverse calculation of standard costing. Those who have attended our CMA Inter free mentorship, no, you have written the first test of CMA Inter, no, first test, casting you have written, no. At the time, I have taken the question from syllabus 2012 only. It is a reverse based question. So, 8 to 10 papers will be there. For syllabus 2016 also, 8 papers to 10 papers will be there. Syllabus 22, you may get 2 papers as there is only 2 attempt has done. Okay. Focus almost on 22 papers. Sir, 22 papers, is it possible on 60 days on those 5 hours or 6 hours of effective learning? Yes, it is still possible. I will tell you. Suppose if you take standard costing in group 1, cost according paper number 8, you will find 22 standard costing to 25 standard costing question in this entire paper. Whatever I say from 2012 to 2022 syllabus, okay, 2000 syllabus, it is not from year 2012 to 2024. 
It is not 2022. It is still 2024. But we are saying it is totally 22 papers. Almost it will come. Okay. 22 papers. If you take standard casting question, you may get 22 standard casting question. If you take marginal casting question, you will get 22 marginal casting question. In a full-fledged problem I am speaking about. If you take financial accounting NPO, if the concept is there at the time, you may almost get 15 to 20 questions. Learn the concepts. Practice those 15 to 20 questions. You know all the adjustments. Write and take a paper. Write all the adjustments in a piece of paper, in a, in a sheet or in a notebook which you have maintained. And just focus on those adjustments for financial accounting, for cost accounting, for DT and IDT. Mm. Next. Sir, MCQ in each paper, it is 30 marks. So, for four papers or eight papers, what you are focused? What is our target on this if I study conceptually? If you study conceptually, your target should be 24 plus marks. It means you can write three MCQs strongly. You need to attend 12 MCQs. For sure, you need to attend 12 MCQs. For that matter, we will study the concepts logically. Sir, 30 marks I'm going to write. Descriptive and practical questions are there. Almost they are going to test you for 82 marks. 82 to 84, it depends on person, paper to paper. You are going to write it 70 marks. On this 70 marks, my target should be half of it. 35 plus marks. If I add 35 plus 24, almost it will comes to 59 marks. I That's what I have put 35 plus marks. Half of it. It means if you apply the strategy in each and every paper, you can score 60 plus marks, whatever the point. First, let us study in the way that you enjoy the process of the learning. Don't study like, I need to qualify. For that matter, I'm studying. No, it's not like that. You enjoy the study. Why you came to the CMA course? For the purpose of having good respect in the society, to score, uh, to, to earn very good amount of money, to play with numbers, to do an analysis, to for a decision making. So that's all the matters we have come. No? So you enjoy the process of the learning. Don't see as an hectic thing. I need to prepare those, this, this and all for the success. Yes, you need to prepare. Hard work only will give you a way to your success, right? Hard work plus along with some smart works, if you do, the success is yours. Okay. Now, come to how to present your answer sheet. For that purpose, we have uploaded learned ethics paper financial accounting paper, direct taxation paper. This we have already uploaded. That is in the description below. It is in a YouTube description below. You can watch that video as well. Okay. For in the upcoming days, you may expect a paper on corporate accounting and auditing. And you also may expect the paper on ITD. These two papers you may expect soon. The video is going to be soon in our YouTube channel. You can focus on that. Sir, uh, for paper phi and DT and all, can you give me any support at free of cost? Yes, we will give you. That is for CMA Inter, for the last attempt, we have conducted a few, few chapters for an exam oriented batch we have conducted. For two papers we have conducted, one is financial accounting, next one is DT alone we have conducted. Still, the videos is applicable for you. Financial accounting is fully applicable. You can easily focus and rely on the chapters which we have uploaded. For DT, the concepts except rates, most of them is remaining same. You can still focus on that area, like chapter like house property we have fully uploaded, PGGP, presumptive taxation we have uploaded. Okay, and the TDS TCS concept of exam oriented series we have uploaded. Okay, total income sum we have solved, everything we have done. So you can still focus on that area for your success that is easily available on the YouTube. You can just uh, go and check, check it out. Okay, so that's it. If you if you following this productive strategy, the June attempt is yours. Based on a paper-wise study plan, we are going to come up on the upcoming days. You can focus on those videos and prepare like that. And you can easily score good marks in your examination. And that we have wrap up the session today. Thank you.
thank you all for attending this session live for those who are watching this youtube also it's uh, you will take an advantage of it and apply it and make sure you are succeeding in your june examination and don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you once again have a nice day dears